I went to IMG Academy because I knew my goal was to make it to the NBA. So I thought that was the best route where I could just focus in on my body getting stronger, basketball-wise on the court, and also my nutrition. So that was the biggest thing going into it, and that's the sole reason why I went. Um, I, knew, I knew it was a risk to take, and I knew a lot of kids my age wouldn't do that. They would typically go to college, but um, I give myself a little bit of props for doing that and then now being in the great situation that I'm in with the Rockets. And the benefit of doing it? Uh, I feel like the benefit of doing it was, like I said, this working out and getting ready. Uh, also in LA, I've been playing against pro guys for these past two years and open runs and stuff. So I had a feel for where I needed to get my game to and also get stronger and those type of things. So um, that, that was just the whole thing why. Thank you. No problem. Uh, just, just the hard work, really. Like, I always dedicated myself to working hard. At IMG, it was real hard weight-wise and on court. And here also, just the hard work. So the environment that we're in, we have a great group of guys. We all come in every day, 8 o'clock, uh, get our tests and get straight to it, lift, and go on the court and push ourselves every day. So that's, that's what I felt from this group and the situation that I'm in. Yeah, no, I had a conversation with Coach Silas uh, a week or so ago when I first came out here. And his dad coached against uh, my dad's team when he was playing. And now that he's coaching me, so it all came around in a full circle. But um, me being the youngest guy on the team, uh, I'm just excited to learn from the older guys, really. Some of the guys I know from uh, them knowing my dad, them being friends and everything. So it was cool having conversations with them. Like before, I'm, before I was on the team, before like this easy, was even a thought, and now being with them and everything, just going in every day, learning from them, and just being the young guy, uh, bringing energy every day and doing those type of things. So I'm very excited. Adam Rockford. Hey, KJ, you mentioned your time with IMG Academy, and then obviously also uh, growing up with a dad who's in the NBA, and you were around for his time in Denver and all the way through it. It's a very unique background to have when you started your rookie season. How do you look at the time you spent around the league and around these players as an advantage, I would assume? Yeah, um, a lot of people say, like, do I feel pressured or things like that? And like like you said, like, not really. Like, I take it as an advantage. Like, since I, since I was super young, I'm at practices every day with my dad as much as I can, going to games as much as I can. So seeing those guys work and the environment that they're in and how dedicated they are from a young age, it helped me all the way up to this point. So um, I like thank my dad for that. Uh, he's kind of letting me my, do my own thing now. But obviously, if I ever need help, uh, I could go to him. And he, he got my back. So it was great having him. Yeah, no, I told, my, I told my dad and my mom that I wasn't going to cry and all this stuff. But once I saw it in my dad's face, he started tearing up. It really got to me. So, no, nah, it was great. Uh, all the hard work paid off. Houston Rockets, um, they, they, they got a pick for me. So, uh, like I said, I, I was speechless. Like, it's still kind of all sinking in now. But now that I'm here and have the rocket stuff across my chest and everything, um, it's a great, great feeling. And thank the organization for that. And when can we see you uh, potentially uh, attempt a dunk contest against Gerald Green? Uh, uh, whenever, whenever we get on the court together, I'm going to ask him what he still got, got, in his, uh, got in his legs. And whatever he do, I'm going to try. And he probably he a little bit older now, so he probably like, oh, you got a youngin. But, uh, that's somebody I always looked up to, dunking wise, just everything. Like he's super explosive, so I feel like me and him have that in common. Mark Berman. Hey KJ, uh, what was it like when you signed your first professional contract? 
It was a great feeling. Like I said, I've always dreamed of going in the NBA. Like a lot of kids uh, dream of going to like certain colleges and everything, but my dream my whole life was to get to the NBA and have a contract and just be in a great situation. So it's great, obviously, it's a blessing. Like I said, I thank the organization for giving me a chance and everything. And plus the situation that I'm in with the group of guys and the playing style and everything, it's gonna, I feel like it's gonna fit me great. KJ, where do you see yourself position-wise in the NBA? Now you're six foot six, and as far as your developmental phases, you've been good at rebounding and shot blocking, but you've also improved your three-point shot. Yeah. Do you see yourself as a guard, a forward? Where do you think you eventually play in the NBA? Yeah, no, I, I measured at the combine like six seven, six seven and a half with shoes. Uh, I look at myself like three four really, like the role that PJ Tucker plays with us. Um, him guarding multiple positions, uh, that's, that's something that I'm going to do coming in, coming in and for every day, every game, just being able to guard multiple positions, also hitting open shots and using my athleticism to my advantage, running up and down the court. So really, I look at it just whatever my coach needs me to do, I'm going to go out and do, whether it's to guard a two, guard a four, or be able to switch screens. So I'm going to try to do everything. Uh, Pre-draft process, I really focused in on just getting my shot super consistent because I understand how the game was going. The game is very spread out. There's five men on the wings now shooting threes and everything. So I knew that that's a part I needed to my game. And I feel like that's going to be great for me to be able to hit open shots. And also, um, they push the ball up the court, and that's where, that's where I do my best in the open court. Uh, and also switch ball screens. So that's just really my, my fit. Uh, at IMG, we switched ball screens. I got comfortable guarding smaller guys. So that helped me a lot to be in this situation now. I really didn't play against my dad like that. Like that's a crazy thing. Like it's we never like he's always helping me and stuff. But besides that, we were always he we were always just watching games together, like film on different guys, old games from when he played, and he's just showing me things that like a lot of the guys did that I could put into my game. And obviously there were some times where we mess around and play one on one. And he's always now that he's been done for five years now, he just fouling me and going, uh, doing spin moves, traveling and stuff. He think nothing to travel. So uh, we have those moments sometimes, but really it was just him showing me just film on guys and just studying the game and getting me prepared. And obviously coming up and watching a game like you did, all these players, you're, you're going to be teammates with John Wall, Marcus Cousins, you are teammates with James Harden, these guys. What are your thoughts about some of these players, these veterans you'll be with and what you've seen over the years of their career? Uh, yeah, they're great players. Like, uh, like I said, going in and learning from them is all I can really do. Like, they have a lot of experience in the game, and I'm the youngest guy on the team, so I'm just gonna ask a lot of questions. Uh, I was fans of them when I was younger, and now I have the opportunity to play with them. It's gonna be great. So every day, I'm just gonna ask questions, go and practice, and work hard in the game. Also, work hard. So I'm excited. It's a great feeling. Like they, that means they, like I said, they're re, like you said, they're really interested and um, they really like what I can bring to the table. So I'm gonna, what what they like, what they've seen from me so far, I'm gonna bring that to the table every night, and I'm gonna continue to work on my game and get better every day. So it's, it was a great feeling for them to take that chance on me and uh, bring me into this great organization. Things that you've noticed that you needed to be a part of this to find out for yourself? 
Uh, just like even it was just two years ago before IMG, like working out with the pros and stuff. Like my first workout was pros. It was real hard. And then once I really got to see what it was about and everything I understood, like I knew it was something that I wanted to do. So me just bringing all that knowledge in to IMG and continuing to do that on my own, and then now bringing it back to a group of the pro guys and everything, um, is is everything I wanted. So, like I said, every day I'm just gonna work hard. Uh, is what I've been doing for these past two, two and a half, three years to get ready with the pros. And now that I'm in the situation, uh, I can't slow down now. Who were those guys when you did your first workouts with the pros? Uh, Montrez Harrell, Thomas Bryant. Uh, I play, worked out with Trevor Ariza. Uh, James, James came up there a couple times to play against us. Uh, Pascal Siakam. It's like a yeah, like we ha had open runs and stuff. We worked out together, so it's like we usually work out in the morning, and then I'll go lift and do what I have to do there, and then I'll go back and we we'll uh, have runs in the afternoon. So it it was real good working out with the pros, and then actually getting in the game and just seeing how the game is different. It's more like I said, it's more spread out. There's obviously bigger guys on the court and everything. So, me seeing that a couple of years ago, it gave me understanding where I needed to get to to get to where I am now.